Hi friend, we'll see how to draw a pie chart by taking data from MySQL database. Visit this URL and uh, this, uh, this uh, URL is available in our description and uh, scroll down you can see here the downloadable link and all the here you can download the zip file contain all the source code of this and in the part one we have seen how the we have a basic of the pie chart by using google library how we have displayed it we'll start using from that and adding the our php code to connect to mysql and extract the data and finally display that so i'll strongly advise you to read the part one of this and we will continue from that after downloading, open the SQL dump.txt file. This is the sample table, whatever we will be using. This is the same data what you have used in the part one. But uh, now you can uh, copy this, create the table, and we will take the same data from the MySQL table. Now that is now next come to the config dash PDO. Here all our database connections are we have kept it. Now in, there are two ways you can take it, connect it to MySQL. Either it is MySQL I or PDO. So this is we will discuss now PDO. You can use MySQL also, but all the sample uh, connections and the pages. There are two different type of pages. These are all available inside your zip file. You can use the uh, config.php if it is only MySQLi and index.php. Now, if you are using PDO, then go for config-pdo.php file and index-pdo will be using. So here it is the database connection. All the details you can fit it here, and you uh, we are created the object here, the our connection string with. with so now that we will be using inside index dash pdo so here it's our connection string the rest of the code we have removed it only the you have added a php area to this our code what you have seen in our previous tutorial so here we will collect the database and the chart all everything we have kept it except we have removed the data part because data is no that time we have pasted a two dimensional array here we have used it now we will not use it we will take it directly from the our mysql table will create an array and use it so inside this config i will just quickly go through the how we'll pull the data part though it is more of a, a php data management query i will write it select now there are language and uh, numbers these two are the fields uh, columns we are taking from chart data sorry this is the table what you have created here so this is there in your sql dump now i will say step this variable i will execute the prepare the state this uh, query first so i'll say dbo what is dbo it is inside our config dot p here it is this is the dbo this we are using and we have connected it here before that so this we are using it here now we'll say prepare and what you will prepare will prepare the query fine so the query is at the so the query is at the top so query we have written now what we will do we will execute it but we will say if if step now we are saying execute execute now if that is true what it should happen now i will bring it to here end this i'll write a else statement or i'll write the first it is because i want to print the error message whatever the error if it has come so i will say echo uh, print or uh, no echo is required here print r now i'll say step error info so that's all this will print me the error part now here if it is executed now what i can do is this is above this i will just say now remember this i am just creating a variable php data array so this variable will hold the value for me this will say step fetch all because this will collect all the rows of data whatever the matching from the table and create a php array note that this is no more a so far it is not a javascript array it's a php array now my job is to create a uh, javascript array which i can use it for my uh, chart so let's for that purpose we'll now we are inside a echo command and we are printing script because i have to transfer the data from the php array to a javascript array 
so i will continue this let me remove this i will now var i, I am inside actually in a javascript code i am writing in javascript my 2d is my array i am creating now let me just remove this again dot now again i am back to uh, php json encode so this will encode what the variable i will do. it is json encode will it is a function in php will encode the json uh, array to a json string so this i am giving it here i am telling php now data array so this is the variable here i am this variable i am using it here now this variable again what i will do after this note that this is php part now i have to anyway give my string a javascript i had to come back now i am adding the string here next line i am going script so script will <coughs> this is the uh, you can say this is the first part of the string then this is up to this is the php then the second part and sorry i had to close the script tag okay <coughs> now second part so here my php command ends so this what it will do this is the most important thing how i am transferring data from my uh, php to uh, front end javascript so it's a front end javascript so i am echoing my script here this is a sc inside a script tag of javascript when this php code is executed this will just throw the this part of the code to the front end and this variable will hold the data my 2d is a now a two dimensional javascript array it is no more a php array fine so this is up to this is over so i have i am through in my php part now let us come to our javascript part so here this basic code we kept it is as it is if you have come directly to this please read our part one we have all explained here so what i did here is that inserting the, here we have directly inserted the arrays here two dimensional arrays javascript arrays that we have removed here and now we'll take the data of this whatever the variable we declared it that variable name remember my underscore 2d okay this array data of javascript we will insert it here that's all so that will be end of it so we'll write now that there is a two line of code what i will do i will use a for loop for i equal to 0 now i is less than my 2d my 2d is that javascript array not php array length so it is length then i plus plus fine so next line this is my for loop is over here i have to be a bit careful data what is data here it is we have declared it here this data we are adding now so we'll say add row this is not add rows it is not rows it is row only because we are inside a loop one 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 we are adding it up i have taken this now i am starting what i will give my 2d my 2d is that array i i means the first this i will be inside the loop and zero zero means the first value is the string so zero will be taken here this is the string so the language column data will be taken now after this p a r s c i n t percent why i am using this function is i i can directly take it but there that has to be an invariably a number so if it is a string then it will convert it to percent will convert into a integer so i am using the javascript function to convert it now my 2d fine now i will say again i now i have to take the number column so second one is one so that's all my this thing is okay this bracket closes here now this bracket closes here and is fine so this this is my uh, javascript code ends here so now this line will loop through the array and add one 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 data to inside it now let me just save this let's see so far how it is how it is working so this was the blank uh, yeah it has come up now this data has come from the uh, mysql table though it appears front end same if you, you can see the view source and you can see the or if you want you can print the data in php area also what you can do is 
here here you can say php data array this is a array actually you can loop through and print the data once also so let's uh, use a print r here print r now i'll say php data array this is just for our testing is not required so let's see what it happens here now i'll refresh this you can see all this data has come up whatever is used that array has been printed here so this is taken from mysql database now this is how we can take and you can you know in the first tutorial we have explained about how you will customize it still for uh, your this thing i want to make it 3d so here i will come back i will say is uh, 3d it should be true now what happens you can see here this is how you can further customize it also by adding yeah you can see now this is a 3d so you can uh, change this lot of big list of customization is available you can change it now this is how we can take the data if you have any doubt or how you want to reconfigure or anything you want to change it you can put your questions and doubts in your question box below and uh, please do subscribe next we are moving to various other charts by taking the data from the mysql database or from other sources and display it please do subscribe and uh, don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get all the notification and post your doubts and questions so we'll discuss further thank you